Hi everyone, so I have a week as of the filming of this video, one week until I move to Japan. Actually less than a week because uh, a week from yesterday I have to go to Auckland and stay the night and then the following day fly to Narita Airport in Tokyo, but it's a week, it's a week, alright? It feels a little bit too real <laughs> now that everything's coming into place. It's been honestly kind of awful getting up to this point, especially with getting my student visa and issues around COVID and, and the new things that come into place uh, because of that. But I finally have my student visa, just thank goodness I picked it up earlier this week. I had a lot of issues trying to get my certificate of entry into the country which you need for the visa. It was stuck in Japan for two weeks, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's here, it's done. Now I'm pretty much all sorted, the only thing I still need to get is a negative pre-flight COVID test which I'll get done on the day before I go to Auckland so fingers crossed that goes well. Sorry if I'm a little bit erratic it's just been very much the slowing down of waiting for this stuff to come through and suddenly everything's here and I'm just like crap I have to actually pack now and go which is which is pretty cool but also kind of scary as well. I'm sure as you can see from the background of this video that my room is rather messy. I would like to say that it has something to do with the packing but in reality it's kind of just always like that. It's been quite difficult breaking everything down and figuring out what I can take with me to Japan because I can only take three bags, one of which is my computer so I only have two other bags that I can put all my clothes in and all my electronics equipment, video equipment and everything else in so I'm just really trying to hone in and figure that out at the moment. It's quite hard, it's a little bit emotional as well. So the most important thing I can do right now is stay at home and stay healthy, just really try not to get COVID. I haven't had COVID yet, it's going to get very expensive otherwise having to rebook my flight, work my classes around it. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not super stressed. I'm, a little, I'm, I'm just the right amount of stressed, I think. It's kind of a big step having to take everything and move to another country, especially while I'm studying because I'm studying right now. I'm still at, like almost through the middle of the semester, which is pretty cool. I've been working a lot on my collection and my thesis. Our collection that we're doing for Bunka is the collection we do across our entire masters. So this semester we're designing it and then the following semester we do all the patterns, then the next semester we make it and then the semester after that we present it. So it's very much a very uh, a very long process but everything I'm designing is quite intricate and needs that time. It's also going to be very interesting going to Japan because uh, right now it's winter in New Zealand and in Japan because they're in the northern hemisphere it's summer right now so I'm having to pack with the mind that when I get there I'm going to be wearing summer clothes and it is really cold in New Zealand at the moment so I keep trying to remember that I'm not going to be cold a week from now so having to sort that out is, is going to be fun. I think I've done enough talking so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you a little bit of my classroom setup that I've been doing online for the last few months as well as a little bit of my packing. We'll get straight into it. So this has been my classroom for the past few months. So we all connect by Google Classroom at the scheduled times of class so I've got my webcam here, my very comfy seat. I'm very thankful that I have not just one display but two which this one here is a TV and it swivels out and moves around which is really handy. I do have my main headphones I use for class, although I do have these ones, but I'm a bit too shy to wear these in class. I am doing a Japanese language elective alongside my main study, so I've got a few notes here on prices and numbers because I struggle with that a little bit, so keeping that as a reference. And here are a few little projects that I'm just revising. They're all concepts that I would like to use in my master's collection. So this one here is an ECG sensor hooked up to some neopixels. You use a cable and these little sticky things to connect to your body and it will detect your heartbeat. I'm playing with it a little bit at the moment to change and, and manipulate based on the different heart rates you may have. It's all a work in progress right now, but that's a sneak peek. But this one here is a lot simpler that I can show you today. It is an arm brace that wraps around your arm and is hooked up to a lily pad, Arduino, a RGB LED and an accelerometer. So if I switch it on, the color changes based on the orientation of the accelerometer, which means that you can get some really fun colors depending on how you move your body or your arm specifically. So these are the cables for the ECG sensor, so it connects up to the controller as well as just snapping in place like that to the patches that you stick on your body. 
I can't really show too much about my collection just yet because the development is still really early and anything I show now is very likely to change in the future but I'll just show you one thing that I drew up quite recently. It is quite more sci-fi but more than what I thought I would, would go for but I quite like it. I don't think I'm going to go with this specifically but you know there's some ideas in place and we're gonna we're gonna work them through. And here's another sketch that I was working on recently. I think I'll be a lot more comfortable with developing my collection when I'm in Japan because I'm going to be looking at all the resources I'll be using to make it. And as much as I love my little setup here, I am very much looking forward to being in Japan and experiencing all that as part of my collection and development. When it comes to the wardrobe situation, I'm kind of terrified because it's a lot. Here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to myself as a designer, I have a degree, <laughs> I am qualified as a designer, but when I like wear things, I kind of like things that are almost a little bit stupid, and I know that it is, but I enjoy it. So I'm having to do an internal conflict of like, do I want to take it because it's really stylish and I'm going to enjoy wearing it, or do I, like, do I just like it because it's kind of stupid? <laughs> And I don't want to say stupid as in like demeaning or it's bad, I just mean it in a way that I don't want to take fashion too seriously. Like I think I can get away with not taking this, as cute as it is I must say. This triple collar shirt, you know it's, it's a little bit debatable when it comes to taste but I thoroughly enjoy it. I mean like other things I really want to take with me is like my rainbow suit because I think this is amazing and I worked really hard on it. So I'm sure I'll find a situation for this. But I also just want to take the opportunity to take things that are a little bit more colourful, a little more interesting, and hopefully I can create some really nice outfits with that because I just haven't really had the opportunity the last couple of years, especially with COVID, to actually go out and dress and do things like that. So it'd be really nice to have that opportunity again. I'm wanting to take a lot of my electronics collection, so my LED jacket I'm really wanting to take because I'm sure an opportunity for that will come up, especially with my masters being so focused around technology. Also sorting out my beanies, I know that uh, it is summer over there, but any day can be a beanie day if my hair is bad enough. Also taking things like my LED mask and just general tech accessories like that because I think they'll be really good for some photo shoots and opportunities over there. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor, just whatever. Uh, I thought I might just show some of the things that I'm bringing from New Zealand because they make great gifts and it'd just be nice to, to bring some of them over to share as well. I have a lot of Whitaker's chocolate, we've got creamy caramel, pokey pokey crunch as well as a few classic creamy milks. Also have some Whitaker's peanut slabs which are very delicious. Whitaker's is like our main chocolate brand. We have Cadbury and stuff as well, but Whitaker's is, is more valued in some ways. It's made in New Zealand, so if you ever come to New Zealand, I would recommend trying it. They have quite a selection. We got chocolate baby fish. We have milkshake lollies. I love these. These are my favorites. Pineapple lumps, which are like pineapple flavored chewies, candies, I would say. So we've got pineapple flavor as well as their more recent uh, Fijoa flavor. These are actually admittedly yummier than the normal flavor. I've got some fruit bursts as well. I've got uh, New Zealand fudge, which is gonna be a gift. Looks really cute. As well as one of the most popular gifts that seem to be from New Zealand is Manuka honey. I've got a few of these. They are quite expensive overseas, so I've got a couple of those to give as gifts. Something I would also like to show off a little bit are the shoes I'm taking with me. You walk a lot and you really need to take care of your feet, so I can't bring as many shoes as I want to take with me. For the wet or rainier days, I have my Doc Martens. I've had these for about five years, just about five years now. They're doing really well, they just need a little bit of, of TLC and then they'll be perfect to take with me. And then when it comes to sneakers, I really needed to buy a new pair. Looking throughout malls and stuff here and I couldn't really find one that looked right until I saw these ones, which are sketches with Dr. Seuss. And what I really love about these, this this wasn't like the, the selling point of me buying them, but what I thought was really sweet is that it's actually inspired by Oh The Places You'll Go. And these shoes have some gorgeous details to them. The, the sole is so beautiful. The laces have Oh The Places You'll Go written on them. There's a custom printed lining 
there's the thing on the heel as well as a really gorgeous quote on the inside that says congratulations today is your day you're off to great places you're off and away which you know it's very on the nose for what I'm using them for but no, I really love them the actual surface of the shoe is corduroy so I have to be really careful to not get that too dirty but hopefully if I'm walking around the city it shouldn't get too bad so on top of my sneakers and my docks I'm just gonna have a nice pair of simple heels I still need to dig them out but just having the comfort shoe the wet wear shoe and the stylish shoe hopefully those three will cover me for a little bit oh, and these were the extra boots that I wanted to take with me because I think they're quite cute they're quite smart uh, yeah here we go well this is my whole packing situation it's kind of a lot and also not a lot because I still have a lot to do I'm trying to sort my electronics that I want to take with me and then I've done some laser cutting recently to make little bits of acrylic look like shards of glass which I would like to use in my collection that you'll see very soon my PC should fit in here hopefully and then I've got food and gifts and things my medical documents which are was like this thick I have to get into the system over there so it's good to take all that stuff with me clothes fabrics and other things that I would like to take with me as well my backpack yeah it's it's coming together I, this is fine it is a lot but I'm also very excited COVID certainly doesn't help things it's been quite difficult like saying goodbye and doing all these things the world is starting to open up a bit more than what it has been in the past couple of years but there's still some degree of uncertainty as to how things are going to pan out over the next six months to a year I announced last year that I'm a finalist in the World of Wearable Art Awards and I've got my garment being showcased in Wellington in October and it just kind of sucks that if it, the show happened last year I would be able to attend and all those wonderful things but I'm gonna be in Japan I just I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it back and it's kind of a big deal to be in that show especially a first-time entrant so it's a bit of a shame that all these wonderful things are happening and again still COVID's just messing that up a little bit we're into our third year of it I think we're all a bit exhausted <laughs> I know I keep making jokes but I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine and it's okay not to be fine especially in a situation like this it is a very big step doing something like this it's also very exciting and I'm very thankful that I have support from my family here as well as in Japan so I have points of contact in both ways I'm very much looking forward to meeting my classmates in Japan we have been connecting remotely for the past couple of months I work you know we're getting to know each other and it'll be really good to actually see everyone in person and to actually go places in person with each other fingers crossed my COVID test comes back negative because after that it's free sailing well for my flight and apparently I no longer have to do quarantine when I get to Japan which is amazing the last time I've traveled internationally was to Japan before the pandemic and it's such a different experience now but I'll stop rambling and, <laughs> and get back to this packing because there is so much more that needs to be done and I guess in my next video I'll be making the trip it's, it's wild we will see how this goes uh, and I'll talk to you then. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye!